Hey, 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 good morning. Let me see your phone looks on. Make a change there. There you go. That's better. Hey, appreciate you being here. Lamoni, 1936. Appreciate you coming in this morning. My name is Dean Renfro, 5-Minute Leaders Coach, and uh, glad to have you with us this morning. We're going to be talking about uh, uh, how you as a leader have to grow, and uh, appreciate you being a part of what we're doing uh, today. So uh, it's just an important factor in life for all of us that we grow as a leader. You know, a lot of times in life we have uh, stinking thinking. That's what I call it. Uh, and it's uh, natural to us. You see, our brains are wired. Uh, our brains are wired towards stinking thinking. Uh, part of it is a, a protection factor for us. You know, a lot of people uh, live like, hey, appreciate you joining us this morning. Uh, and glad to have you here. My name is Dean Renfro, 5 Minute Leaderscapes. We help. Uh, uh, leaders grow their uh, personally and grow their business, and so a lot of times we're talking about business growing ideas. Today we're talking a little bit about leadership ideas because if you're not growing up, your business is not going to go up. So appreciate you being here uh, with us this morning. You know, stinking thinking is a part of part or part of uh, our wiring, and uh, the reason that is is because our brain is wired uh, with what's called the the paper tiger syndrome, and uh, that's just kind of a self preservation factor. But there's some things for some of us that we have to we have to overcome. The paper tiger syndrome has a lot to do with the fact that uh, oftentimes you and I think uh, there's a tiger in every bush that's going to jump out and get us. Hey, good morning. And uh, we uh, so we're kind of prone to see a tiger behind every bush. And the reality is, oftentimes though, we don't see. Uh, the fact that uh, when there is a tiger, we don't see it either because we get so accustomed to seeing the tiger. The there's supposed to be a tiger in the bush, and then there's not. So, so we kind of have to overcome that thinking. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the fact that we want you to exit your stinking thinking and insert leadership thinking because that's that's how you're gonna grow uh, as a person. And what you have to understand is. Uh, leadership thinking is not automatic. Stinking thinking is okay, and then we just kind of mentioned that fact. But but it happens to all of us. So you just want to remember that we tend to fear what's not. Have you ever thought about that yourself? That you tend to fear what's not there, and we spend a lot of time thinking about what's there. You can have a great day, and which I hope you have one today. I hope you have a great day today. But, you know, if, if at the end of today you got uh, a, an email or you got a text or you got a phone call, poor connection, try to catch the replay, okay? Uh, appreciate that life made well. Could be on my end. I hope not. Uh, but uh, if, you, if you found yourself at the end of the day uh, and got a disappointing note, uh, an email, a text, a phone call, uh, and no matter how great your day was, you will tend to, to, to focus in on the fact that you've got this message that may not be clear, may not be real, uh, but we will make it real. We will, we will imagine the worst of it. That's the tiger in the bush thing. Uh, and so you kind of have to learn how to think beyond that uh, because pretty soon you'll find yourself thinking that way every day. So like we said, we, we, we want to exit the stinking thinking because it's automatic. We just tend to do that. Uh, some of us are thinking in our process in life is we don't have a whole lot of aversion to risk. We, we're, you know, we, we, uh, uh, and then other people are very risk aversion. And so they, they, they avoid risk at all cost. And, and so somewhere in that you have to, to find balance. And that's where I think leadership thinking comes in place and we have to get rid of, of stinking thinking. So what do you do? So what do you do here? Well, I'll try to use these cards to kind of help everybody keep up with what's going on. You have to understand leadership thinking is not automatic. Leadership thinking is not automatic. You have to search for it. You have to search for it. Uh, it you know, it's it's uh, it's not obviously sticking out. Now what is obviously sticking out of course is the paper tiger in the bush. You know, that, that sticks out with us everywhere. We see that tiger in every bush. Well, leadership thinking, you have to go looking for it. You have to search for it. You have to find it. Uh, it's an important thing for us to realize that, that that kind of thinking is not obviously everywhere. Okay? That's why everybody, uh, it, you know, looks for leader. That's one of the greatest struggles of every organization is finding leadership. Why? Because you have to search for it. It doesn't just show up. The paper tigers show up. 
but leaders don't show up. So be thinking about that, that you're going to have to look for it. You're going to have to spend some time looking for it. The second element about that is, is leadership thinking requires effort. Okay, leadership thinking requires effort. Now, look at it this way. Effort equals work. A lot of people look at the work thing as a bad word, as a as a word that's like, oh, that's a dirty word. I don't want to work. You know, well, guess what? You have to work if you're going to have leadership thinking because you have to work at it. It requires effort. It didn't just happen. It's not going to float down out of the sky. It's not going to show up in the mailbox. You know, it's not just going to suddenly, through osmosis, jump on you and enter into your brain. You have to, you have to, you have to spend some time searching for it, and then you have you have to spend some time that you're going to you're going to have to take effort to 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 get the thinking that you need. See, we live in a society today that has dumbed down everything, uh, and everything has become well. Let let let's get it down to the least common denominator. Well, guess what? Most people then don't know how to think because they hadn't been taught to think. Do you realize that when you go to school, that you spend the first 12 years in school regurgitating everything and not learning how to think? So most people come out of school not being able to think. They go off to college and it's the exact same thing. And if you do think and, you, and your thinking is not like everybody else's uh, in the class or the professor in the class, you get ridiculed for that. You get put down for that uh, so much of the time. So most people don't know how to think for themselves. Now, I'm not talking about making things simple. I think you need to make things simple. But do you realize to make things simple, you have to think a lot to make it simple? Because things tend to get complex really fast. We as humans tend to make things more complicated, not more simple. Okay, And, so, and the reason is because to make things simple, you have to... You have to think about it. You have to put some energy and effort in. So, so realize that uh, to, for thinking to happen, for leadership thinking to happen, you're going to have to you're going to have to spend some effort, some energy, some work. The next thing is about it is you want to be able to uh, you have to realize that leadership thinking requires an investment. Okay, it requires an investment. You're going to have to invest to be a leader that thinks. It's not like I say. It's not just going to float down out of the sky. It's not going to just happen. So appreciate you joining with us this morning, 5-Minute Leadership Scope. Those of you that are coming along a little bit late, uh, this morning's okay. You can catch the replay on uh, Periscope TV, 5-Minute five five Leader, or catch the replay on Catch.me, 5-Minute Leader, or you can catch it on my Facebook page, 5-Minute uh, Leader Scopes. But the, you'll find that uh, these scopes are there. But, but So what do you do in investment? When we talk about leadership thinking requires an investment, it requires an investment. What does it require an investment of? It requires an investment of time, energy, and money. Time, energy, and resource. Time, energy, and application. It requires an investment on your part. And so you have to be thinking about what's going to be my leadership investment quota. What is it, what, what is it I'm going to invest in even this today that's going to make me a better leader? What am I going to invest in in my thinking today that's going to help me take that one step. Yesterday we talked about the fact that in, in the process of leadership, if you could, would you take the step? If you could, would you take the step? So go back and listen to that, but then we could, but we talked about the fact that so oftentimes we sit around thinking about, well, if I could, I would. If I could, I would. And the problem with the could and would thing is, is that you can, if you will. You see, it's not a matter of could and would, it's a matter of if you will do this. So the same thing is true about leadership. Uh, leadership thinking is the fact that, that you have to make an investment and you have to decide what's my quota for today. What is it I'm going to go learn today? Am I going to learn one thing, two things? Uh, who am I going to be with today? So that, that kind of brings us into the other uh, in leadership thinking. is how, how do you get it? How do you get it? Like we said, well first you have to invest in good input. Okay, You have to invest in good input. You know, uh, Trash in is trash out. Garbage in, garbage out. Good stuff in, good stuff out. So you have to be willing to make an investment in time, energy, and money and starting to plant the seeds of leadership thinking. Because you see, there's plenty of seeds in here and in here that are, uh, are, are the paper tigers. That there, there's a tiger behind there, every bush and in every bush is going to jump out and get you. Uh, and then when there is opportunity, you miss it because you're, you're looking at, for the tiger in the bush. Instead of thinking, this is an opportunity for me. Well, that's how you begin to train your mind from a leadership perspective. 
So leadership thinking requires you to make an investment, okay, an investment uh, of your time, energy, and money, and start planting seeds in here and in here, okay, so that you can reap a harvest. So somebody said, well said, when's the best time to plant an oak tree? Well, the best time was 25 years ago. The second best time is right now. So you have to start planting seeds, leadership seeds, in your thinking if you're going to get rid of stinking thinking and insert leadership thinking. Well, what's the next thing? Not only do you invest in uh, the process of leadership thinking, you need to invest in thinking relationships. Thinking relationships. Because you need to hang around people who know how to think. So you learn, part of what you can learn about thinking is be model thinking by hanging around people who think. Now there's a lot of ways to hang around people who think. One, you can get audio, you can, you can get video, you can do Periscope, you can read. Uh, you can uh, you know listen to it uh, in various formats. So find a way to start investing and hanging around people who know how to think. Now, the, of course, the very best way to know how, uh, to hang around people who think is to do a personal relationship with people who know how to think. So you can have a conversation and even ask the question. Well, tell me what you're thinking about that, and why do you think that way? That's a great conversation starter for people who think. It helps you learn how to think. You begin to understand how they think. So, so like I say, we want to we want to invest in thinking relationships. Uh, there, the Book of Wisdom uh, says that iron sharpens iron. Iron sharpens iron. So, if you want to learn how to think, hang around people who think, Let, and ask people who think questions. What do they think? The third thing is you have to do is you have to make it uh, intentional. You have to make it intentional. You have to make your thinking intentional in the process. If you're going to get leadership thinking, you have to make it intentional. What does that mean? Well, you have to get yourself in the right place. Okay, and we're going to talk about that more tomorrow. How do you get yourself in the right place in your thinking so you can so that you can start thinking like a leader and quit the stinking thinking. Okay, so that, that just becomes important. So you want to make you want to make it intentional. You have to not only put yourself in the right place, you have to put yourself at the right time. See, most things in life are about timing. They're about timing. Uh, and 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 you and most of us understand, and we've probably even said this about people, oh they were the right they were the it was they were just at the right time, at the right the right place in the right time. It's true. But do you understand it also takes the right thinking at the right time, at the right place to make it work. It has to be the right person. Right time, right place, right thinking, right leadership to make it all work. You have to understand you're going to get there by being making time for thinking, investing in the in the process of making it intentional in what you do. Right place, right time. So the the you know one thing you might ask yourself is what's your thinking schedule? Do you have a thinking schedule? And uh, and I know uh, Dan Cathy, the the owner of Chick Fil A, talks about this when he talks about look, you I I have to have a thinking schedule uh, because if not, it, uh, there's so many distractions that I will get distracted. It goes back to a thing I heard uh, quite a few years ago, but you have to learn, you have to make the main thing the main thing, you know. It, it, and so you ask yourself the question: Is the main thing my main thing? Well, the only way to do that is to have a, a scheduled time of thinking that, so you can think about what is the main thing. Because there's so many distractions in our lives, it's hard to determine what's the main thing. What's the main thing? How do you decide the main thing? Everybody struggles with that. What's the main thing? We'll talk about that later on too. But uh, be thinking. Tomorrow we're going to talk about how do you get yourself in the right place. Okay. So then the fourth one is, uh, and in and, and, and this whole thing of how do you get stinking thinking out and insert leadership thinking is you have to realize you have to make your leadership thinking interactive. You see, leadership is not just uh, uh, an idea. Leadership is not just uh, uh, a theory. Leadership is not just just thoughts. It's also action. See, leadership demands, the very word itself demands from us some, uh, some engagement, there, some activity. So leadership is an act, understand, leadership is an activity. Leadership thinking is an activity. It's an activity. Uh, uh, you know, there's six words that can help you have success. Six words. Think it through, then follow through. Think it through, then follow through. And the, 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 you have to have a way to interact and engage your thinking and to turn it into an activity. Because somebody has well said, you know, nothing happens until there's, there's action. 
Nothing's really going on until there's action. It's it's kind of like uh, it's, it's like I talk to people in the in in business about leads. And say, somebody said, "Well, I've got ten thousand leads. Fine, great, good. Do you have any sales?" Because it doesn't matter how many leads you have until you get a sale. Because you go broke with ten thousand leads if you don't have some sales. Well, guess what? That is so true in leadership processes. Is leadership is an activity. It's an activity. So you have to make it interactive. Your leadership has to become interactive. So when you're thinking, when you're changing your stinking thinking and inserting leadership thinking, you're looking for what kind of interact, interaction can I create in my leadership thinking that's going to cause me to take action, cause me to implement something. That's another one of those eyes. And then the last one is you have to make it internal. You have to make your leadership thinking internal. Somebody as well said, practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. So you have to practice learning how to think as a leader. It doesn't just happen. What happens is there's a tiger in the bush. There's a paper tiger. And there's a tiger in every bush. And first thing you come believe in all of that. And you can't see an opportunity when it comes by. See, leadership is learning how to look past the tiger and see the opportunity that comes your way. So you have to learn how to make it internal, uh, internal. So, so you all, I think everybody understands that practice makes perfect. Repetition creates habits. Okay, repetition creates habits. So learn how to repeat and build into your life the habit of leadership thinking, because habits, habits in our lives reap your life. Your life is a series of habits that you've created, good or bad. You know, pretty or ugly, it's there. It is a it is a process of the habits that you've created. So let's get let's get rid of stinking thinking and insert leadership thinking. Okay, so we appreciate you being with us. Tomorrow we're going to talk about how do you find that place to think? How do you find a, a, an environment that's good for you to think about? We're going to give you some simple steps to be able to do that. Hey, thanks for being with us, Dean Renfro, Five Minute Leadership. Uh, we just appreciate you being a part with us. Catch us tomorrow as we talk about leadership scopes uh, and, and, and how that you can take your, th your thinking and develop your, your mind, your thinking process, so that it can help you take the next step that you need to take. Thanks for being with us. Talk to you later. Have a great day.